All right, so starting Mem Aleph, Amad Aleph, uh, fourth line down. We're going to start with Rav Chista. New concept over here. So Amar Rav Chista, Ein hakinin misparashos, that birds are not designated, either with lakichas bailam or sias kain. Good, you got it, right? We're done. Okay, we can move on. All right, so um, kinim are, when, it, when we say birds, what does it mean kinim? It's a pair. So there are certain, let's say, uh, a zava, a yoledes, just starting. So a uh, zava, a yoledes. You also have a carbon mitzayra, who for ani, right? There's two different mitzayras and mitzayra asher, mitzayra ani. If you remember, we discussed it in Shkolem when it came to uh, the nesachim, the ticket system for the nesachim. And uh, there's also something called the carbon olive yoyred, which is brought um, for Tomas Mikdash, Tomas Mikdash for Kadashav. So depending on how wealthy you are, depends on what kind of carbon you bring. We'll get into that later. But that, those are options where you would bring a pair of birds. Now, the din is pair of birds. One is an oila and one is a chatas. Okay, the oila, whichever one, the, oila, the bird that's an oila would be oila, like all oila, kula Hashem. The chatas, what's the difference, difference between a, a bird and a behema, is a chatas is kula nechal. It doesn't get uh, brought to his behech at all. Um, it's nechal. So that is the difference, one of the differences between a chatos that's an oif and a chatos that's an animal. Whereas a chatos animal, part of it is eaten by the kaihanim, right? The achlo, achlo, asher kupar, the kaihanim eat and b'nei yisrael and m'skaprim. Ayite the achilas kain. And uh, part of it is brought, like any carbon they were brought on the carbon. So anyways, so Rav Chista is coming to say that when I go ahead and um, I, I separate, so there's, there's two ways really you could separate either money, right? So let's say I separate $10 and I say, okay, this is going to be for my Keenum birds. Now, what's interesting about this, I'm trying to, what's interesting about this concept is you're creating Kudshim, even though you're not designating which bird is an Oilo or a Chata. So you're basically saying $10 for birds. Now, these, uh, this money is now earmarked for Hectish, Okay. Or, alternately, I take two birds and I say, these are for my kinim, my, right, my chatsuna, and I'm, I'm designating it as hektish, but I'm not saying which one is the ola and which one is the chatas. Okay? So now the question is, so we see that they become, become hektish, so we have this kind of intermediate kedusha. It's hektish, but it's not kadosh as a chatas, kadosh as an ola, it's kadosh as kinim, this blanket, right, kinim. And then later, it gets designated which bird is an oila and which bird is a chathas. Now, I'll, I'll say, I'll be pashtus, that when we talk about money, so you separated the money. So what Rav Chista is now saying, I'm a Rav Chista, ain't akin in misparashos, they don't get designated, ela oibil kichas bailim, when the owners buy it. So they take the $10 that they designated for birds, and I go and I pay, I buy, I, I go ahead and I buy one bird. At the time of buying, I could say, okay, I have two five dollar bills. One five dollar bill goes for a chatas. That one's chatas, and one five dollar bill is um, is is oil. Okay, but at any it sounds like at any point throughout the process, if I just have the money sitting there, I can't say okay, this five dollars is for chatas, this five dollars is for oil. Or if I go ahead and I pay for it, I buy, I take my ten dollars and I buy two birds, and I still don't designate it until we get the zabilam can no longer designate which one's chatas, which one's an oil. So they can either do it at the time when they purchase it, okay, or else they can't do it anymore. It's oy basiyas kain. When the kain actually goes to bring it, then he can determine which one. So those are the two points in which, in which a, the kinim, either i.e. the money, okay, or i.e. the birds themselves can get designated, either when the kain buys the birds, when he first acquires them, or when, I'm sorry, when the bailam buy the birds, when he first acquires it, or when the kaihanim actually go to bring the birds. That is Basias kain. So that's what Rechis is coming to say. And that means there's no other point. What that means is there's no other point in between where I can go ahead and I have the two birds, or I have the money for the two birds, and designate it and say, okay, now I'm deciding I want this one, you know, this money or this bird to be a chatas and the other bird to be an ayla. Okay, and that's what we're going to deal with now. We're going to ask some questions on this. So that's, so again, just Rav Chista said, Rav Chista, in Akin, in Miss Parashais, you don't designate which one's for Chathos, which one's for Ola. Elo Eibel Kichas Bailam, Oibasi Yas Kain. Amar Rav Simi Barashi, how do you know this? My time is Rav Chista. Dechsev, because the Pasuk says, Ve'lakecha ve'asa. 
Okay, there's a two different, one is uh, Valacha is by Ledes, and Ba'asa is talking about uh, Zava, and uh, I think also by Mitzayra. Okay, but the point is that we see it both in dealing with Kenan, the Torah says, Velacha, when you take it, Dainu, when you buy it, or Va'asa, when it gets made. Dainu, when it gets brought as a carbon. So the Kicha would be Bailin, and Asiya would be Aide the Kaye. Okay, Mesve. So now we're going to ask Akasha. We, and we, we quoted this before at the end of Mem. We said, Va'asa uchatos. So what happens, <clears throat> what happens by, um, what happens by uh, uh, Yom Kippur? Right, he comes to do the goyrol ois, and he's going to make it into a chatos. Uh, Hagoyrol ois a chatos, right? So like we discussed, you have the two animals standing there, and they drew, they drew lots. The goyrol makes it into a chatos. Hagoyrol ois a chatos, ve'in Hashem ois a chatos. So now, in other words, we brought that as a riot to show that hagrala is a chiyav, right? So the hagrala, the goyrol makes it into a chatos, and not the kohen gadol's dibar. The kohen gadol can't point to one of the animals and say, I want that one to be a chatos. Sheyachol, I would have thought, Bahaloi Dinhu. Okay, like if you remember, yesterday we, we slugged up, right? We slugged up the mount number of well that Agrola is not Ma'akev. Agrola is Ma'akev. You need to have Agrola. That is the only way to designate which Sawyer is Lashem or which is Lazazel. So Zak the Gemara, Sheyachol, I would have thought. Bahaloi Dinhu, it should be a Kalva Chaymer. Uma, Bamakam Shalai Kiddush Hagayro, Kiddush Hashem. Then Madach in a place, right? In a, in a situation, regular, let's say regular birds. Or regular anything, so like kiddush hagoyrol, yet kiddush hashem that for a regular carbon I don't need a goyrol. I don't need a goyrol. I just go ahead and I say, okay, I want this for my chatos. So makom shekiddush hagoyrol and a din shekiddush hashem. So for sure, where a goyrol would work, kiddush hashem should also work. Tamad loimar v'also chatos hagoyrol is a chatos vein hashem is a chatos. That what designates the sorry Hashem as a chatos? It's the goyrol. How, and what are we asking? How could we compare? We claim to say, what's va'aso chatos? Right? That's for girl. We're comparing it to madachan amakam where you're not going to decide. Now, what's that case? What's a case where you have two, dahainu kinim, sounds like kinim, where I have two birds and my amira can go ahead and designate it? Okay, so what we're trying to learn from there is, so for sure, for sure, by Gairo, Amira should work. We're comparing the two cases. So the Gemara says, In the Havamino, we, we are trying to say that, that the Amira, in, in trying to understand this, that what happens over here, that the... Um, that, <laughs> that we're, we're able to be kaveya, one animal as a chatos, and one, or one bird as a chatos, and one as an oila. So we're comparing this to a case of gairol. Now the gairol, right, the, but this is not, is occurring at, the Gemara is assuming, between the shas lakicha or the shas asiya. So how could you go ahead and bring a whole kava chaymer that I would have thought that I can, I miss parashas, b'shem, b'dibur? No, it has to be done b'shas lakicha, b'shas asiya. It's not just a situation where at any point you want, you can go ahead. If you have Chistar right, you can't at any point just go ahead and um, designate one as a Chatos and one as an Ailo. So, so you're Kavacham or Ikelemifrach, right? And, and you, it falls apart. You don't have a Raya. It's, they're two different cases. Why can't the girl be a Chasasiyah? So that's what the Gemara is going to answer. So Amarava Hachi Kamar. Always one step ahead. I, I think he like learned it already and then he just comes here just to ask questions, make himself feel good. I don't know. You know what's funny? Itzik was learning the top the other day, and I thought, that's just so funny, Itzik was doing that. I'm a Rav Ahachi Kamar. So Rav, Rav says like this, you're right. Ma'am, 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 Yet, kiddush Hashem, b'shas ha'chicha, u'b'shas ha'chicha. So ma'am, she kiddush ha'chicha, b'shas 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 
uh, either a shasak siya of the kain or shasak kicha of the bailam. Makam shikidish agar el shaloi b'shasak kicha b'shaloi b'shasak siya. So in a in a place where the girl works. Even not b'shasa kicham b'shasa siya, and he didn't shakidish Hashem b'shasa kicham b'shasa siya, b'shasa siya. So for sure, um, we would say that kiddush Hashem would work b'shasa kicha b'shasa siya. Right now, it's even a better kavachimer. That you're right. There, uh, uh, I don't. A girl doesn't work. Right, a girl wouldn't work even b'sh- even though it's b'shasa kicha and b'shasa siya, and just devarim would work. So for sure, here shas goyro. Right, so for sure here, but when it comes to with a girl, a girl should work, okay, if it is shas lekicha and shas or shas asiya. So the Gemara says tamal loy marvel so chatas a girl is a chatas vein hashem is a chatas, okay. And so, but we don't learn the kavul chaymer because we have <clears throat> a riboy which tells you that val so chatas that the girl must uh, designate which sayer is is lashem and which one is la zalzel, okay. So now again, we're oimid with Reb Chista. Reb Chista said that when you have a pair of birds, Kenan, it is only designated which one of the birds, if you were Makadish or you separated the money, only Makadish which one is a chata, so which one's an oila, either when the Bailam buy it, so that's talking about with money, or when the when the Kayan goes to bring it, he can designate it at that point. Tashima, and no other point in between. Tashima, Metame Mikdash Ani. <clears throat> so let's say this is a, again, carbon oila of is Metame Mikdash Ani. So carbon alavir, like we explained, an ashir would bring a chatas, and ani brings a pair of birds instead of an animal. Birds are cheaper. Okay, so metame um, mikdash ani. So he was metame mikdash, and he has to bring carbon alavir, right? He walked into the base of mikdash, he was tame. Behefrish ma'ais lekinai, and he set aside money for his birds, the hashir. Now he became wealthy. Okay, so now he's rich. Now he can afford more than birds. So then he goes ahead and says, These, this money is for my chatos, this money is for my oil. Okay, so he went ahead and he set, he set, he set aside, he was poor. He set aside $10, I'm reading of the price, two $5 bills, let's say. Okay, they're sitting there. Then he becomes rich. Okay, now he's chayiv to bring a animal. Can't bring birds anymore. Then he goes and says to Brisa, he says, okay, that one $5 bill goes for chatas, one $5 bill for oil. Okay, he sets aside the money. He says, Eilu lechatasi, one $5 for chatas, one for oil. Moises, so what happens? So the Brisa is saying is that the chatas money is locked in. So you now have $5 for chatas and $5 for an oil. Let's say a, a, uh, a carbon chatas costs $20. Okay, so he's going to go ahead. Moisif, who maybe chayvasa mid mechatasai, so he could take the five dollars that he had set aside for chatas and add fifteen dollars to it, so he can go buy a chatas animal. And vein moisif, who maybe chayvasa mid mechatasai, he can't add to the oil money, right? What we're saying is that when he went ahead and designated money, and this was not b'shas akicha or b'shas asiya, he had the ten dollars and he designated five dollars for chatas, five dollars That's real. It's so real that when I need to go ahead and upgrade to a carbon, I can't use that oil money. That's stuck in oil world, and an usher carbon oil beer doesn't bring an oil. Okay, it's interesting. I remember I, I remember learning this like back in Kudjim. I don't remember where I where I saw it, but um, in a carbon oil beer, it's interesting that we explain that the birds, one is an oil, one's a chatas. The oil is completely uh, uh, is completely burned, isn't it? and the chatas is completely eaten. And that's why it translates into a carbon. What's a carbon? A carbon is partially eaten by the chatos, right? It's partially eaten by the kayanim, and, um, and part of it goes in the mezbeach. So when you want to bring an equivalent carbon, you need two birds. This, so that means that what it's telling you is that every chatos has a tzad oila in it. That is part, right? And the animal, what, I could, instead of bringing a chatos and oila birds, I can bring one animal that's a chatos. But Lamai says considered a chatos. Just when I have to bring birds, I need two parts because a chatos bird isn't going to do it. Because I need part that's going to go on the mizbeach, so I, there, that's why you have to bring an oil bird. Okay, but either way, what we're saying here is you went ahead in between. You separated the ten dollars, two five dollar bills. Let's just say you went ahead at, at you. You then became rich. And then you said, you know what? One five dollars for chatas, one five dollars for the oil. Now you have to bring a carbon chatas behema. So you add fifteen dollars from the chatas, and you can't touch the oil money. That's gone. You can't use that. So we see that you were actually able to designate not b'shas l'kicha, not b'shas l'siyah, and that's going to be a kasha on what we just said. 
Okay, so how could you have chista say that you could only be kaveya either the money or the birds? But chas lakicha or chasasia, we see it's not true. So the Gemara says, "Amar Rav Sheshes." He says, "No." And what we're going to answer is that the Bryce is wrong. Amar Rav Sheshes v'tisbara. Does that would that would that make any sense? What do you mean? Amar Rav Lazar. Amar Rav Hoshi. Amar Tami Mikdash Asher behavi carbon ani lo yotza. If someone had a chiv to bring a carbon, it was an asher, and he brings instead. So he's supposed to bring an animal, but it's cheap. He thinks he's going he's he's to cheat the system. And he goes ahead and he brings a carbon on, even though he's wealthy. He's a miser. So now, la yatza. Now, vechivan de la yatza, hechikava. So if it doesn't work, then how could I be kaveha it? That's if he was rich before. If, if I was rich. And I went ahead and I said, right, when I'm rich, I go ahead and I separate two birds. It shouldn't do anything because you're not yatza. Yeah, but when he said the birds in the, in the previous one, he was wealthy. Right, right. Okay, one second. Good. Fine. Okay, but here, what did we say? We said, look at the Bryce again. Rich. We said, And then, Then he designated the money for Chatas and He's not a bar oila. He can't bring birds. He's an Ashir at this point. No, but it, it, but it, was, but it wasn't designated for Chatas and Oila. It was designated, for, it was designated for, for, the, for the Chiyav that he had to bring. It was designated as Kinah, but it wasn't for Chatas, for Oila. If it's just in the Kinim world, and it, doesn't, it sounds like the Mashmos, the Pasha Mashmos would be, if I separated $10 for Kinim, and then I became wealthy, since I never designated part of it for my Eulah, you could, it sounds like you could add to it an upgrade and bring a Chatos. Okay? It's only that you were able to designate, but how could you designate? If, if, if you're not Yoytza with that carbon, then it's, it, it, you're not subject to that carbon at all, and then it does nothing. Right? Um... Uh, so if you want to see in the words of Rashi, Rashi is Vitisbara on the, on the second uh, wide line. Hach mitarasti, you want to tell me this b'risa works? V'amar Rebbe Lazar, v'kivan de'en karban ani roi loi, afilu b'dyeved, hechi kaval ha'shem oila alayhu. You can have a chaloi shem oila. So how can he go ahead and designate part of the money for an oila? He's not a bar oila. Misha asher, ha'reini mechuyev oila. So, Ela, my Yisach Lameimar, you have to say, the only way to understand this b'risa is Shekvar Amar Me'an Yosai. Now, what that means is that the b'risa is out of order. Really, what we're saying is that he separated, the, he already, Kvar Amar Me'an Yosai. The only way to understand this b'risa that you can, that he, that, that he could turn money for birds into an oila at all would be when he was an ani. So the whole price is out of order anyways. The price is wrong. It's a mistake. We have to fix it. Therefore, once we're fixing the price, so you know what it must mean? What it must mean is, you know what he really did? Watch this. Okay. And he said, and then Behashir. Okay. And then we talk about Moisif. So we're just making a change in the b'risa, and what we're saying is that really he designated it at the Shas HaFrasha. When he separated the money, he didn't go ahead and say, I want to bring $10 for Kenan. He said, I want to bring $5 for Chatas and $5 for Noyla Kenan. And he did it at that time. Rav Chaga, okay, so that's according to Rabbi Lazar who holds that if an Ashir for carbon oil tries to bring Kenan, it doesn't do anything. However, Rav Chaga, Rav Yashia, the Amar Yotza, Ma'ikol Meimar. So then the b'risa isn't necessarily wrong. Because it would, it, it would work. Be the Evan, you would be Yaitse if as an Asher you brought Kenim. So then the price is not a mistake. So now you can't just go change the price because you don't like it. So, okay, so we're not saying the price is out of order. When we, when we said, he did it at, concurrently with purchasing birds. And when we said that, now that would work in Rav Chista because Rav Chista said that when the other two points that you can designate when you have a kinim, that you have a pair of birds when you can designate one for chatos, one for oilo, and lashas lakicha is one of those checkpoints, and that's what we're talking about. For the Gemara, really, lakach, moisif, or maybe chavasa, maniyu. What do you mean? We said you could add to your pile of money. You could add $15 to buy the carbon. Well, if you already bought the bird, then you can't add money to it. So the Gemara says, lakach, moisif, or maybe chavasa, maniyu. So the Gemara says, the parakle. So what you did was you redeemed. Right, you redeem your bird. I. There is no pinyin la'if. There's no such thing. So the Gemara says, "I'm Papa preda achas." So really, what we mean is like this: you brought, and now we're re-understanding the brisa. Really, you bought only one bird. You didn't. You didn't buy two birds. You bought one bird. You bought one bird. Now, 
e oila zavan if you bought an oila. So now I, I had ten dollars. I took five dollars of it and I bought a bird. If I bought an oila, so now I have five dollars left. So what we're saying is that five dollars, right? It was maybe my chavasa mid me alasa. The high oila azal in a dava. So the oila that you bought goes on a dava. Doesn't help for this carbon. And you can add to the money. Ichato zavan. Then ain ain moisef u maybe chavasa mid me alasa. Right, so the price is true. It said maybe chatasai, maybe la It depends on the situation. Only if the money's around, the high knew that when you bought a bird, what you bought was the oila. Now you have the money, the chatas money sitting there. You have the, the leftover money is sitting there. Now you didn't designate that money as a chatas, but it does the, you, you. Either way, what we're saying is you could add to it for your chatas carbon that you have to bring. The high chatas azuls and misa, and the chatas oif. Now because since you're wealthy, you're rich. So therefore, you have to bring a carbon, and therefore this chatas goes to Misa. So now, we're going to make a similar din, Gufa. Amr of Lazar, Amr of Hoshia, Mitama Mikdash Ashir. So again, this is the same case, right? We just said that somebody who was, we're re-quoting, <coughs> this was the Machlekes, Rabbi Lazar and Rabbi Ashia. If, let's say, you're a rich guy, okay, and you were Tama Mikdash, the heavy carbon ani, and you went ahead, you tried to uh, get out of it and bring birds, Bring the carbon ani. So now we're going to ask Akasha from Mitzayra. Mitzayra also has this concept where if you're wealthy, you bring, um, well, if you're poor, instead of bringing, so instead of bringing, um, instead of bringing uh, one of the carbonites, a mental block right now, uh, Mitzayra brings an Asham, a Chatas, and an Oila. So instead of one of them, you could bring birds or maybe two of them. But either way, when you, if you're an ani, you're poor, so you could bring kinim. So mitzayra ani shehevi carbon asher. So if he's an ani and he brings a carbon asher, yatsa. Okay, so that would work. If you're an ani and you decide you want to upgrade, you're going to go with the more expensive carbon. Then we say, we say you're okay. <clears throat> asher shehevi carbon ani. However, if an asher brings a carbon ani, lo yatsa. You're not yatsa. So how, how would Rav Chaga understand when we were talking about carbon ala v'yoyred, we said if you're a rich guy and you're supposed to bring a carbon and you bring the carbon ani. No good. What do you mean by mitzayra? We, cl- we see clearly it's a... Br- Sorry. How could Rav Chaga say it's good by mitzayra, by carbon and v'yoyla? Carbon ala v'yoyred. If you're wealthy, you're supposed to bring behema and you go ahead and bring birds. Rav Chaga says it works. But we see clearly by Mitzayra, same situation. You're a wealthy guy, and he tries to bring the carbon ani, and we say it does not work. It's, 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 it's right in the b'risa that way. So the Gemara says, Shani has to chsev zois. Okay, that, that Mitzayra, it says, zois toiras ha Mitzayra, and therefore it has to be exact. Oh, one second. You're telling me it has to be exact. Well, that means if I'm an usher, I can't bring a carbon ani. Also, if I'm an ani, I shouldn't be able to bring a carbon usher, because it says zois. Zois toiras. So, okay. So the Gemara says, no, I'll tell you why. Harabi Machmana Toiras. The exode Zeus Toiras. Zeus is limiting, and Toiras is Marba. So, what we're saying is there's one situation where you have to bring exactly as you are. The Hainu, if you're an Asher, you need to bring the carbon Asher. And Toiras is Marba, saying there is another situation where if you're an Ani, you could bring an Asher. Carbon Asher about Tanya, and we talk to see this as Benichusa. Toiras l'rabis mitzara ani shehevi carbon ashir. Okay, so what does the word toiras come to tell me? That if I'm an ani and I still want to stretch, I don't have to, I don't have the money, but I want to stretch it, I want to bring the carbon ashir, I'm allowed to. Yachal apilu ashir shehevi carbon ani, so I would think it would work the other way. Tamalar marzois. So now the Gemara is going to ask, Vinay lef minay. Okay, good. So we have all these limudim when it comes to mitzara, that a mitzara can, uh, a mitzara cannot. Who's, who's an asher, cannot bring a carbon ani, so why don't I learn this carbon ala v'yared? And then why is now a machleik of Sinar Malazar and Rebchaga? should see very simple, just learn it from there. So the Gemara says you just can't learn it. Why? Mi'in rachmana v'im dalhu. Because we have a special miyot by Mitzayra that it says v'im dalhu, and we're talking about v'im dalhu, right? Mitzayra hu, okay? And therefore we could only limit this into Mitzayra, we cannot learn it to carbon ala v'yared. Okay. How do we define asher and ani? Is that um, a subjective thing? I don't. I don't know. There, it, it definitely you'd have to go. You'd have to go be nerach, right? They'd have to understand what you have. Um, I don't remember what the haracha would be for this. 
Uh, there's certain places where the haracha is that we would leave you, we would leave out things that are like are essential for your work or whatever, and then we would evaluate what your worth is and uh, or for forensic accounting. But the kahanam would do it. Okay, Zakta Mishnah. Kasher l'shayin shel zaharis b'roish sari mishdalech. So let's go back here, right? So now we picked our, we did our hargrala. That's what happened in the last Mishnah. And now we tie a red string b'roish sari mishdalech on the head of the sawyer that is la zazel, the one that's going to be sent away. Vehemidai keneged beishiluchai. And we put the animal next to the gate in which it will leave from. Okay, so we put it there. It's on a red string there, and it hangs out there until we're ready. Until we're ready to send to take it away. Vilanishchat keneged beishchitasei. Now we'll have to see what this means. The nishchat is keneged beishchitasei. The Gemara will discuss this immediately. Balo yitzel paroi shnia. You come back to your par. Remember the par that was on the like we said on the northern side of the mizbeach, right on the northern end as far west as possible, not being in the Mizbech, we fall off of that. Your power is still sitting there. And you go ahead and you do Smicha again. Right, so here you're doing, he's doing Vidui on the par. First time he did it for himself and his family. Now he's doing it for the rest of the Kayhanim. When they hear the name, the Shem Hashem, Baruch Shem, Kivoyed Machusar, the Lamba. Right? He said the Shem three times. Each three to three videos, he said the Shem three times, and then once by the Garl Hashem. Right? We discussed it before that he said the Shem ten times total. So here is the second vidui, where he says the Shem's, name, Shem's name three times. So now, the Gemara wants to know, going back to the Mishnah, we said, so it, it was clear what happened with the Sar Mishalech. We tie a red string on his head, and we put the animal next to the gate where it's going to go. Then it says, Now, it, are we saying that we take the Sawyer La Shem and put it next to the Beishchita? Stand it there, or are we saying that you take the string? Are we talking about where you put the animal or where the string? Because there's two things that we discussed by the Azazel. Number one, you put the string on his head. Number two, you put the animal there. Uh, you put the animal at the base at, at the at the base shower that where you're going to send them out from. Now, when it comes to the Sari Lashem, it says can I get We only we only say you put the nishka next to next to shechita. What are you talking about? It could mean one of two things. It could either mean that we put the string around his neck where the shechita is going to be. Or it can mean that we put the animal near the base shechita where it's going to get shechted. Which one is it? So now, right? The, the, the first part of the mission, when we talked about the Sar Zazel, it discussed two things tying the Lashain or being minded the animal, putting it somewhere. Which one is it going on? Tashimah, the Tani Rav Yasef. Kosher Lashain shall Zaharis Bereshar Mishtaleach. So that one, like we said in our mission, you should tie the red string on the head of the Sar Mishtaleach. And you put it next to where you're going to send it from. Okay, which again, it's not very descriptive, but it gives, here it gives us a reason, so we have a clue. What's the point of whatever you're doing with the Sayer Lashem? Is so that it doesn't, they don't get mixed with the other Sayer, doesn't get mixed with the Sayer Mishtaleach, or with any other Seer, any other goat that's hanging out in the base of Mikdash. So, if you want to say that we're talking that you tie it on the neck, so then shop it. Okay, now it's good, right? You put it on the neck, and then it makes a lot of sense that I know when I see an animal walking around the, the Azara with a red string on its neck, I'm not going to confuse it. I know exactly what the purpose of that saw here is. Okay, if you're telling me that you, you just take the animal, you don't put a red string, and we're just talking about where you put it, you put it next to its base chita, well then, the Bryce has said that the purpose of doing this Hamada is that it doesn't get mixed up with the other Sari, the Hainal Azazel, and any other Sari there. So now I understand it's not going to get mixed up with the Sari Azazel because that's got a red string hanging on its head. Right? So we won't, we won't get that one mixed up. However, the, uh, why? The high Kotar Bay, the high Loi Kotar Bay, right? Because the Azazel has the red string. And if you're telling me that Hamada means that you just put it on the, on the Sari Lashem, you, you leave it standing next to the Beish so it doesn't, have a, it doesn't have a red string. So then I understand it's not going to get mixed up. However, 
So it must be that, what are we talking about? What's the Mishnah talking about when it says, it must be talking about putting a string there. And that is the only way the Bryce will make sense that we now, now that I see the animal with a red string on its neck, it won't get mixed up with Alzazo because that one has a red string on its head and not by its neck. And it won't get mixed up with any other sire because it has a red string on its neck. Okay, we're going to stop here. Um, so for the next couple of bl- bl- blatter, just so you guys know, I mean, I'm going to stop here. And because they're really pretty isolated sugyas. And then we're going to, our Amar Ula, Mem Beis. And then going to Mem Gimel, we'll probably, we'll have, probably not do the mission. We'll probably stop there and then make it up. It says, oh, do you want to know why the word makom Yeah, makom yeah. Makom so you makom. haven't learned yet that the missions aren't here for your, for your, you know. no, I'm saying it, doesn't, it doesn't, bother, it doesn't, it doesn't no, bother them no, if, if it confuses makom. you. Um, still, makam would not, right? Which makam? On the animal or makam in the azar? It's the same issue. Okay, so. Can't be referring to both, right? It can't be referring. Um, can't be referring to both. No. No, it just is one. Just as at one time. I mean, in theory, you could put the, the, the string on the neck of the Makam Shrita and put it next to And you could, neck. right, but it just... Yeah, but it, the Mishnah said they split it out the two things. Right. Right, we're going to get there. Um, we're going to be discussing about Lashaynas and, and the rest of this. Okay. So number one, we started with Rav Chista saying that Kenan cannot get designated, or they only get designated either Belkichas Bailim, Okay, we learned that from Volakha by Yeladas or Basias Kain. We learned that from Baasa by Yezava. We asked Kasha number one, okay, that the Geirel is Kaveh uh, for the Kinim, and we said that that was a Kavachimer, and we assumed that Geirel is, we're not talking about Shas Lakicha Shas Asiyah, and we answered no, like Rava tried to say, that it, what we're saying is that the Geirel is not Makadesh. It's not mis, mis- Kaddish the Kinim, it's not Mis Parosha, so it just doesn't designate them, is probably the right word. Um, even Bishas Lakich or Bishas Asiyah, they would not get designated with a girl, okay? And therefore, right, so we have a Kal V'chaymer, that when a girl uh, would work, it's only Bamira, <coughs> that Kal when a girl would work, that um, Shas, uh, that the uh, Deber should work for it as well, and that's why we said, so Chatas, that no, we need the girl to do it, and um, we need a girl and not. Ba'amira. Okay, then we tried to ask Akasha from Atam and Mikdash Ani, okay, that we had the b'risa, so we said Shehifrish Mois, and then he designated the money, he has to add to it for Chatas, and we said that uh, it seems like he's able to designate it after he was Hashir. To which, to which we answered, we said, no, that obviously is going to be wrong because if he's an Hashir, according to Rebbe at least according to one sheet, if he's an Hashir, then he can't be mafresh as an Eulah for this because he's not, it's only for an Ani. Uh, an Hashir has to bring an actual carbon, an animal, okay, and therefore, we said that uh, the Brysa must be is, is a mistake, and what we really mean is he was mafresh. What we really mean is that he was mafresh. Um, uh, what we really mean is that he was mafresh um, when he was uh, still an ani. He was mafresh, okay. And at the shas hafrasha, uh, what we mean is when he was an ani, he was when he was mafresh the money. He designated which part of the money should go to chatos, which one should go to elo. And then we asked according to the other man number who held that an ani. Who, uh, an Ashir who brings a carbon ani, the Rechaga, that it would, in fact, uh, be effective. So how are we going to understand that? So we said, right, then you can't say that the price is a mistake. And then we said that um, must be that he was Lakach. Right, and now it fits into Rav Chista because it's either B'Shas or B'Shas Asiyah. We asked, what do you mean by Lakach? And we answered that the only way to understand Lakach, because there's no opinion for if Lakach must have meant um, that what we mean is you bought one bird, and what we're saying is if the bird you bought was an isla, now you, the money you, that you have left, you can add to it for your carbon chatas, and if the bird you bought was a chatas, well, then um, the chatas has to, um, and then you can't use this money, because now it was at Shas Lakicha. We see here is that even though you only bought a chatas bird, the leftover money was automatically designated as an isla bird, and it w- was designated for an isla, and therefore... Um, you can't add to that money anymore. Okay, and you can't add at all, right? Your chata's bird has to go away. Um, okay, and then we just came to discuss that. We, we differentiate the difference between the carbon oil of the yoyrid, 
right, where there's, at least according to Rav Chaga, that he would say that if you're an usher and you, you, and you bring a carbon ani, it would work, as opposed to Mitzayra, where we said that it would not work, and that was according to everybody. That was from Abraisa, because it said Zeus, and Teiras was marba that it would work the other way. Zeus, it has to be exact, in at least one situation, Tahainu, that an ani, uh, an usher cannot bring a carbon ani, and we said you can't learn from, um, you can't learn carbon alivyarid ani from Mitzayra, because it says Ve'im Dalhu, so it's specific to um, etc. Okay, and then we said, we started uh, that you tie L'shayin Shel Zahiris to the Rosh of the Sire, Hamish Taleach, and number, where we said two things. Number one, you tie the string to the head, and number two, you stand it at the gate that it's going to leave from, and we said, and we said, which one does it mean? Is it on the tying of the string or on where you stand the animal? And we had a Bryso which said that the purpose of tying the string, that the purpose of Doing what you're going to do to the sayer Lashem is to differentiate it from the other sayer and any other sayer in the base of Mikdash. And that would only make sense if we're talking about that you tie the string onto the neck of the animal.